Welcome back to Everything Money. In this video, we will talk about Rivian, the electric trunk company. We will go over the financials and how this company is already one of the most valuable automobile makers in the world without making a single item. We'll go over some of the financials you'll see. We'll talk about what it's like investing in a new IPO company and potentially avoiding a hype stock like this. If you're looking to trade Rivian at a quicker pace, we'll head over to Mo. He'll show us the charts and trends. You can make money off the stupidity of others, and we'll show you how. But first, why should you watch this channel? I bring your questions about this exciting truck company to a couple guys who maintain over $100 million in real estate businesses and stocks, and they will provide you with a mindset of carefulness when avoiding, when, when potentially investing in a new company like Rivian. I give you Paul and Mo. Welcome in, boys. Good to see you. I love you. You know I love you. Hello. Thanks for having me, Seth. I know um, you have a busy schedule and you really did a great job of keeping us in the loop of your life. Thank you. Mo, you are uh, obviously you've gotten a lot of questions about Rivian moving forward. Give us the rundown of what has happened in the last week with this company. Now, we were we were talking, they announced their trucks almost four years ago. I had buddies talking about this in 2018, how excited they were, and still they still haven't made anything. So so Mo, tell me about what's going on. Dear Lord, help us. So this is the so this is the adventure company of the EV world. So the, the they went public last Tuesday, um, and now they're the most they're one of the most valuable company car companies in the world. They're in the big three. So they the CEO <laughs> came out. What's that? I the CEO laugh. came out and said on earnings day, whenever their earnings was, he said we are going to lose one point two eight billion cars, one point two eight billion dollars next quarter. Um, we only have the capacity at our factory to make 150,000 cars per year. And the majority of those go to Amazon delivery trucks. And then everybody rewarded them with this massive valuation of $178 billion or something. You know, there's ways to make money on this, but this kind of valuation is just totally absurd. We're not even getting into exactly what the car is and then the charging systems and what the car is supposed to do. So Seth, this is a very... I love it. That's all I have to say. I don't even think it matters, Mo. I mean, regardless of how you charge it or, um, you know, how, can they can they get into the Tesla charging system? I, it looks like people don't even care. But, Paul, what about for new investors? It looks like just wonderful peaches and cream roses out there that Rivian's going to be incredible. And so how do you avoid this excitement? Um, tell us a little bit about IPOs, getting into them early, and what normally happens to folks. Well, can you share my screen, Seth? Oh, sure. Go ahead. This is from CNN Business. <laughs> Rivian has zero dollars in revenue and is now the third most valuable car maker on the planet. Guys, there are two groups of people right now. There's one who reads this article and goes, that's obscene. And there's another that reads this article and thinks, Paul, you just don't get it. If you're in the, this is obscene, keep watching the video, subscribe to our channel, keep watching all our videos. If you're in the, Paul, you just don't get it, category, then go watch my other videos where I explain to you how to slam your head into a car door because this, guys, this is literally 100% exactly like the tech boom in 2000. Company, and I remember later on people saying, well, Paul, it was obvious tech companies were overpriced because companies with zero revenue were being valued in the billions. <laughs> it's incredible. I don't understand like how this is even being discussed right now. Zero dollars in revenue, and they're being rewarded for getting 150,000, 100,000 cars. Amazon has ordered 100,000 Rivian vans. Guys, Toyota made 10 million cars last year, or some obscene number. Rivian has has an order for 100,000 vans from Amazon, and they're valued at look at this, 140 billion. Toyota's 306 billion. So they're almost half the price of Toyota making 1% of the car, having an order for 1% of the cars from um, from Amazon. 1%? Toyota makes 10 million. Is it, is, it, is it Toyota makes? How many cars does Toyota makes a year? How many cars? Yeah, I think you're right, Paul. 10 million. Yeah, I remember it, we looked at the, the entire auto industry. Yeah, 10 million cars per year. 5 million. Yeah, 10, 10 million cars per year. Guys, I, I don't know what to say besides... Take your head out of your ass. I mean, this is obscene. This is the this is the thing that your next door neighbor, seventeen year old virgin kid, pimply kid, is investing in, and he's not even investing. He's spec he's betting on it. He's gambling with it. I don't know how to explain this. Besides, at some point, if you understand cycles, you realize this is an obscene level of cycle. And we just look at it going. 
This is insane. Like I didn't think it would be 20 years later that we'd seen a, a, such an obscene overvaluation. So put it in perspective, in 2000, the obscene overvaluation, 20 years before, we saw stocks selling for four and five times earnings. 20 years after that, we saw companies like this. 20 years ago, we saw companies like this. And 20 years later, we're seeing companies like this again. This is just, I, I don't know how to explain it besides this is crazy. And if this makes sense to you, if, if this kind of company makes sense to you, then you're going to hurt at some point in the next 10 years. It's going to be very, very painful. If it doesn't make sense to you, welcome to the club. And I'm glad it doesn't make sense to you. And it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't make sense to you because every investment is the present value of all future cash flows. There are no future cash flows here and no level of which we're going to get there. What do you want me to do? Guys, if you, and if you look at who is classified as now the big three automakers in the United States, it's, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say, Tesla make, is going to deliver a million cars this year, which I don't think they are going to. I'll give Rivian 150,000, which I, which is their capacity. And I have no idea what Lucid does, but I'm going to give them 300,000. That's still under 1.5 million cars. The rest of the industry does 45 million in total. Yep. That's right. So those are your three big ones. And only one of those companies makes money and they just now started making some money. Everybody else is admittedly saying from their CEO's mouth, guys, we're going to keep losing. We're just going to keep losing and losing and losing. Paul, when it seems like um, when hype speculation of new and young investors is completely outweighing even what the CEO is admitting, admitting a company is not going to be able to provide here in the next couple of years. How is this a sign of the times? I mean, I see well, we have to get, it's a great question, Seth. And these are the things that happen in every major market top going back 500 years, going back to the tulip craze. It just, when, when, when valuations don't matter and people say, no, no, Paul, valuations do matter. You just don't get these valuations. Kathy Wood says that. Michael Burry doesn't understand valuations of disruption businesses. No, Kathy, I don't think you even understand it. Like that's the point. We don't understand it. We just work, we don't work backwards. We work forwards. This company is worth $100 billion. Okay, what does that have to happen for this thing to justify it? Yeah, it can get there someday. Okay, well, along the way there, then you're paying today for what needs to happen in 10 years, 15, 20 years. So you're going to make no money over the next 15, 20 years then. That's what you're saying. And people don't understand that. The analogy I always give is go to a high school baseball player and pay them $30 million a year because they could be a $30 million a year player in 10 years or 15 years. How is that any different? You wouldn't pay every high school good athlete $30 million a year because they could be that 10, 15, 30 years, 20 years from now. You sit there and wait for them to earn that out. That's the point of it all. We say all this, guys, because um, in our community of over 6,000 folks that we've developed in the past years, we just hear a lot of people, get they get burned. You're, you know, if you found this video, uh, consider yourself lucky because everyone else is saying how wonderful Rivian's going to be. And um, if you've gotten burned in the past and this resonates with you, uh, we, we, we certainly welcome you into our discussion in our in our videos. There is money to be made off of this. Mo, tell people, I know you need, Mo, typically you need a year. You like to see a year to tell the whole story of a stock. But when things IPO, I'm certain you can jump on a 15-minute chart and show us what's going on over there. Yeah, so this is my chart. If I'm not looking at a 15-minute chart, this is all I have. Six days. How are you supposed to predict that this stock price was going to fall 18% today or whatever it's doing? So the easier way is come over here to the 15-minute chart. Look how much money can be made here. Guys, there's a couple simple rules that you need to follow. You look at your stochastic. And if you want to learn more about this, join me in the Bid and Ask Nation and, and watch the Trading 101 series. You'll understand these terms. But what we need to do, this is our sweet spot up here, over 80%. If you're over 80% and getting good buying volume, add on engulfing candlesticks. Look at this run that you could have had. This was on Monday, Tuesday, end of the day. Enter here at 2.45 in the afternoon. You're over 80% and you're you're making, you are adding here at about $166 and you could have sold around $172. That's on pretty good for just a couple of minutes being in a trade. <laughs> this morning, you're going short. You're under 20% and you're getting great selling volume. You are making, I mean, right now the stock price is almost down 18%. You're making a ton of money right now. And Rivian is down 18% today? Things, so simple. Go ahead, Paul. Rivian is down 18% today? 18% today, yeah. Man. It's just, it's cooling its jets before it goes to the moon. You have to understand. <laughs> so, I really guys, don't if understand. you want to join, 
and learn about this day trading and how you trade these crazy IPO stocks, come and join me in the Bid and Ask Nation. You'll get access to my Trading 101 series. You'll get access to the Employed Trader series, which is a series of six stocks that you can trade long term. You'll get my monthly seminars that I do on uh, a Saturday, which is even more exclusive content for you. And you get the Discord community of 900 other people that are in the same boat as you that want to make money on trading. Yeah, I can join our software so you can get nudes of me. I'll, I'll send you nudes. I, I don't know what to say. I think that's called I mean, OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Paul, if, if folks want to join the software, uh, show, show them what we offer here at the channel. I mean, guys, if you're watching other YouTubers sitting in their basement, uh, you know, they, they, they offer a lot of opinions and they say the financials look great. Uh, Mo, I did a laughable video about Palantir and they said, you know, the financials are incredible. Watch it. Oh my God. But if you guys want to see what financials would look like, Paul, pull up a company that maybe we do like and you can show what our software is all about. All right. So, you know, this is our Everything Money software. We go to our eight pillars tool. The company I always bring up is Intel because everybody knows Intel. You know, you can, it has all the income statements going back 30 years, all the way back plus 30 plus years. You get the balance sheets going back, same distance, you got the cash flow statement. Best of all, it's going to give you your eight pillars right here, all the check marks. It's going to give you all the news. Stock analyzer tool is a big thing. And this has been the most popular thing. You make every investment as the present value of all future cash flow, right? So you're going to make assumptions in the future because we don't know the future. Nobody knows the future about any company. If you go back in history, it's impossible to predict what's going to happen. But you can make reasonable assumptions. Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger always say, we don't invest in a business unless we have a reasonable estimation of what it's going to make in the next five or 10 years. So make your reasonable assumptions. You hit the analyze button here and it'll spit out exactly what you should pay for the stock based on your desired returns and all your assumptions. This has been one of the most popular things. We created the software because our users wanted this. They wanted to be able to do their own analysis on their own. And you get all this, you get everything that's coming out in this um, for our software in the future. You get access to Seth Mo and I, you get the stock analyzer tool, you get exclusive daily content, two or three videos a day shared with only our subscribers. By the way, in the app, this is all available on an app on iOS and Android on your phone. You get all this there for it, all for only 90 cents per day. This is a no brainer. If you can either decrease your losses or increase your returns by one or 2% a year, this will lead to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in extra net worth for you, 90 cents a day, no brainer, guys. Less than a cup of coffee. I, why are you waiting? Everythingmoney.com or Patreon. Either one works. There are benefits. Everythingmoney.com. Um, you don't get charged sales tax yet because we're not big enough. So go ahead and do it. 90 cents a day. That's our take on Rivion. Be careful out there. I know it's exciting, and I know you're. I know sometimes you can feel left out when all your friends are yoloing into these companies. But stay the course. Get a process, and we can help you. And uh, yeah, final thumbs up, join our community, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.